Welcome to our live training session number 14, part two. In this video, we're gonna get our engine fired up on our base calibration that we created in the previous video. And we're gonna be doing our fuel and ignition timing tuning as well as setting our VTEC point on the VP C85 fuel. We're gonna have a lot to learn, so let's jump into the live training session so we can get started. Welcome back to our live training session here with our all motor B series that we're gonna be tuning with Honda S300. Now in the last video, we created our base calibration file that we've uploaded. So now we're ready to fire up the engine and get it started. Now, a couple things real quick here. We're gonna be tuning this on C85. So it is um, alcohol, it is ethanol, and we're gonna need uh, to have more fuel under starting. So we've added it in already in the fuel uh, cranking tables here, we jump into parameters real quick, under fuel trim, we bumped up our values here in the cranking base pulse table. So um, I did that because I know I'm going to need more fuel, again, on a cold start. So it should fire up and run. If it starts up and it dies, um, that we might need to go in and add maybe a little bit more post-start fuel, or our fuel table here maybe is a little bit lean. If it takes a lot of cranks, if it takes maybe 10, 20 cranks before it starts up and runs, that's gonna indicate that I need more cranking fuel in the base pulse table here. So we'll see what it does. If it fires up and runs and it stays idle and great, then we'll allow it to warm up. Once it comes up to operating temperature, I'm gonna jump out. I'm going to hook up my timing light to the engine and check the timing and we'll go through that process. Now, I am going to uh, have an adapter. I'm gonna be showing you all that. Um, that goes between my number one coil pack and my spark plug so I can hook my timing light on and accurately check the timing. So again, when we get to that point, we'll go over it. So let's fire it up first and see what it's gonna do. Now this engine is, or this setup here is super loud. We have an open header. So I'm going to try to have the minimal amount of talking over the engine. Any kind of uh, any kind of dyno or pulls or any kind of uh, a part throttle operation, I'm definitely not gonna be able to speak because it it is so loud it is a race car so let's go here and shut this and I'm ready to get it to fire up so what I am gonna do is hit my record button to, to start my data log so that I'm able to capture this data so I can reference it if I need to um, and take a look at my cold start here um, and, and uh, refer back to it at another point in time so let me hit my record button I'm gonna throw my headphones on because this is extremely loud and let's get it fired up Okay, so it fired up and died. Now, one thing I wanna point out is this does not have an idle control motor. We went over that in the last video. So it is going to be a little bit more touchy to get it to fire up and run compared to something with an idle control motor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crank it, give it a little bit of uh, throttle so I can keep the throttle plate open, allow more air to come in the engine um, for the first maybe 20, 30 seconds until it stabilizes out and then it should be able to hold its own idle speed. I did set the throttle before we started the uh, last video. So when it was running, um, a lot of these live training vehicles, I just kind of run through, make sure everything's gonna be good before we actually go in and do these videos. Um, I did set the idle uh, set screw on the throttle body. I did set it so that it had a maintain, it was maintaining an idle speed of roughly 1,000, 1,200 RPM um, mechanically with that throttle stop. So let me go ahead and fire it up again and then we'll evaluate it. Um, and hopefully it's gonna catch the idle and behave. Otherwise, we may need more fuel, but we're not gonna know yet, so let's go ahead and fire it up again and give us a try. <laughs> 